fighting out of the red corner. Wearing gold trimmed with the crown colors of gold, red, and blue, he weighed in at 216 pounds. He comes to us from the windy city of Chicago, Illinois, with a record of 24 victories, only one defeat. 18 of those victories by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Danell Dark Nicholson. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, trimmed with red, and weighing 238 pounds. A native of Warsaw, Poland, but now fighting out of also the windy city of Chicago, Illinois. His record, a perfect 27-0, 24 by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the top-ranked heavyweights in the world, the undefeated Andrew Golotta. And where were his feet? Things like that, you got to pay up seeds methodically. In round one. has punch had, up, punch up, punch up, punch up. and that's why you see Nicholson missing up high with punches. Galata begins to attack the body, got in close and went to the rib cage. Nicholson tied him up with his arms. Galata comes upstairs with a left hook. And the right cross, and Nicholson. Crowd likes the left hook by Galata. I think, George, it's because of Galata's heavy hands. And not only of the crowd so far leads you to believe that Atlantic City has a Polish community very much like Chicago. George, we have been commenting about the so-called slowness of Galata. His hands may not be lightning, but he certainly doesn't present the picture of being slow in there, does he? That's the thing seen now. What about Galata? Galata, the same way. Galata have heavy hands. The wake of your bloody battle against him in May, you'd be getting it. Very much for being with us. Yes, no respect. You are not reaching out for it. A lot of the fight come to you. Guy bow down trying to hit you with harder shots, then jab it. A few minutes ago, kind of a nice picture. Lennox Lewis. Like that. I love to see that. I, you know, I mean, I mean, do it. Nicholson is doing it. And in his mind. Good left hand to the body by Nicholson, but here comes Galata. Now, which, but then you never know what his corner is telling him. He can still pull this out. He's been taught how Nicholson landed a hard left hand counter. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So Lou above and beyond tactics, best. what you like about Lou Duva as a trainer is his ability to keep motivating the fight. He can motivate you. Referee Ed Cotton stopping this for the moment as Danell Nicholson says that a headbutt has brought him down. <laughs> well, it, it did seem like a deliberate headbutt, no doubt about it. But this, this doesn't seem real, what we're seeing here. Harold? Larry, it all depends whether he calls it deliberate or accidental. If it's deliberate and Donnell Nicholson can't continue, he can disqualify Andrew Galata. Let's take a look at the butt, guys. I don't know why Galata would have to do this. Oh, yeah, that's bad. We said he was mean. <laughs> Believe me, a hard head but that hurts mean, a lot more than a hard punch. But that mean oh. can cost him. I mean, for Galata, he's winning the fight. Uh, he's having his way since the first round. What's the? Why did he have to? Plain orneriness. Okay. And Nicholson. into the second half of the bout as Galata tries to maintain the momentum he created through the first five rounds. Key event so far, the accidental headbutt, or the intentional headbutt, I should say, in round five. Low 
little blow by Galata. Cotton didn't see it, the referee, so Galata got away with that. Nicholson pounding away inside. He wants to go to war. Hard right hand by Nicholson. Doesn't seem to have bothered Galata. Now this guy is going to the hidden below. When he intentionally headbutted Donnell Nicholson, and since then the momentum seems to have shifted somewhat toward Donnell. Quick, quickly, Harold. Big upset of the evening. The other being Daryl Wilson's knockout of Shannon Briggs. Galata brings the crowd to life again. Like what Emmanuel Stewart has done. You don't do anything else, you just make your fighter go anyway. That's a good lesson for young fighters out there. Pay attention to your corner. Have confidence. Galata starting to land again. And just as George suggested, the headbutt has left a lasting effect. Nicholson's got a... Right now, Nicholson is the man who appears to be tiring as this round comes toward a close. Danell reduced to throwing one punch at a time and then holding on against Andrew Galata. Okay, stop punch, stop punch, stop punch, stop punch. Quickly, see if Nicholson can regain. Finally, Nicholson doubles up on the jab. And a hard left hand by Galata stuns Nicholson. Nicholson can take a hell of a punch. I got a feeling Nicholson's chin is pretty stout. But he's taking a lot of punishment now, George. Stop the punishment. Galata hoping to finish before this round is over. Right with the side of his face injured like that. Throw the towel in. You don't need to see him. Hard right hand in there by Galata and still. Nicholson stands up. He's proven he's brave. Archie Moore used to say all the time. Sometimes he. Let's go. Let's go. What did Archie used to say? Yeah, with the young fighters, you want to do permanent damage. Some of these guys cannot hit hard enough to knock you down. They can just keep thumping on the young fighter and destroy his career. Okay, come on, come on. Let's go. Nicholson looked out on his feet at the end of that round. Jones at ringside. This one has been stopped between rounds. Emmanuel Stewart made the right decision. Indeed, I congratulate did. him for that. After Andrew Galata landed 58 punches in round eight, most of them power shots, Emmanuel Stewart made a judicious and wise decision on behalf of his young fighter. And you've got to have trust when you're a fighter like that in your in your corner. Angelo Dundee, the bravest man in the world, told when when Muhammad Ali was getting the, the best from Larry Holmes, listen, I am the chief corner man. I don't care what they say, the fight is over. Now, Emmanuel Stewart has established himself as a brave corner man. Eddie Futch did the same thing for Joe Frazier in the Frilla in Manila in one of the most famous and humane stoppages in the sport. So now Stewart does it for Donnell, who just as you said, George, proved his courage beyond dispute. Now he's got nothing else to prove but get back in the gym, heal effectively, and you can still be champ. Leaving aside the headbutt, what did Galata show you? <laughs> Galato showed me that old rule. It's not how you play the game, it's winning that count. <laughs> and that's what we're gonna have to deal with in this business. Sometimes you see guys like that, and they're just gonna try and win. But well, as Larry said, he'll fight you, he'll bite you, he'll butt you, and so far, he'll beat you. Reminds me a little bit of an over-aggressive defensive lineman. Coach loves, even when he gets a few 15-yard penalties, you want to see that kind, that kind of willpower to succeed, to dominate, to get to the other guy. And uh, I don't think Duva, in hindsight, is very aggravated by what, he, what his fighter did tonight. I think he likes it. Let's go up to Michael Buffer for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, 
At the end of the eighth round, Danelle Nicholson, his corner says he's unable to continue. Referee Eddie Cotton calls a halt to the bout. The official time is at the end of eight rounds. The winner still undefeated from Warsaw, Poland, by way of Chicago, Andrew.